going what's going on uh, so we're down here on Edsa is the name of the road it's a busy road here they even have the train coming by here across it see that uh, we're just about a couple hours from commute time so we're gonna make this fast but we want to go through this market it's a huge indoor market as you can see they got everything here coolers hanging up bedding toys uh, there's even in the center is food court like well not regular food court you'd see in america but uh, they've got every kind of meat kind of a wet market with meats and uh, vegetables and all that but this is basically a supply store it's got everything from cooking stuff to clothing to everything else you could ever imagine so anyways we're gonna hit this a little bit do a quick walk through and uh, let you join us so here we go Hey, come on, watch, watch. So shoe stores, electronics, and I'm gonna buy myself a little. She's Kai Begon. Sit, Kai Begon. Um, I wanted to find something I could mount on, like uh, uh, on my car, so I could uh, have my phone, you know, to read the directions. All right, so we're continuing when Aggie's with us. She's making friends like always, but we're just continuing to walk through this market. I think we'll do a couple zigzags. Hi Hello. Uh, we'll Thank you. So a bunch of dresses. So this stuff is all usually food markets. We got sewing. Ooh, I might have to come back here. Come on. But here, yeah, see the remnants. I don't know if the food markets usually are in the mornings uh, because the afternoons get so hot, but there's still some vegetable stands. But most of the fish is right here where this is. It's all pork, fish, chicken through the center area. You can see all these stalls set up in here. Pretty amazing. I don't know how far we're gonna go through here because it's uh, pretty wet on the floor and I don't want her getting guts and stuff all over. But you can see kind of dark, but back through there, that's all chicken and pork and fish markets amazing in here shellfish and every kind of fish you could imagine i've seen some huge fly fishing game fish that you normally would see on videos and stuff but it's uh, pretty incredible so we're going to sneak through this way hello thank you hello hello here we go here we go hi but pretty amazing they got just about everything in here clothes wise uh, pretty amazing. So, but we're gonna buy a bed in here, I think. And it was. was the bed? Stop, honey. It's actually right here. 2000. That's it right there. That's it. 2000. I was here. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Hey, how's it going? So. Yeah, we've already got some cushion up in there, but ah, zonkered with something sticky. But uh, we're gonna score another cushion in the back of our truck right here. It'll make it more comfy and stuff. So he's getting it down, but a good deal, two thousand pesos. Yeah, friendly. Kai be gone. You can pet. Friend, friendly. You. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Look, 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 look. Here. Yeah, say hi. She's friendly. Yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna keep walking through and checking stuff out, seeing what, what's going on. How are you? Hello. Hello. She's really friendly if you want to say hi. Hi. Wanagi. Hi. Wanagi, say hi. Hi. She's friendly. She just looks scary because she's so big, but she's a sweetheart. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so many smells, yes? Okay, come on, let's look, let's look. Let's look, hey. hey. Come on, buddy. Ooh. There's so much stuff in here, it's crazy. From ceiling to floor, just stuffed full of good stuff. Oh, that's tight right there. Huh. That? That's got a lid though. Okay, come on, buddy. Oh. Your baby? Yes, my baby. <laughs> Today, here. Oh, did I give you stickers yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Got ourselves one of these little gas yeah. grills, uh, pretty good. And then we got some plates, forks, a big cup. Look at this big old cup, ceramic cup for coffee or whatever, or soup. Pretty awesome. Um, but we're slowly piecing it together. We just want some stuff that we can camp with and uh, make camping easy for us. So, hey, how's it going? Uh, getting down here at Wanagi level. Uh, anyways, I wanted to share so. Today at 1.30, we're going to the Philippines Retirement Authority uh, to do our final filing and uh, paying the fees for our retirement visa. I don't know if I will get it in hand uh, from the office today. Uh, there's a lady that has been, Annie, been really helpful and she's been helping me, but she emailed me this morning, said my all my paperwork's in, the deposit I put into the bank. Uh, went through and uh, so uh, hopefully I just filed my paperwork and uh, and then it may take 20 days I've heard uh, from once you file to get the actual visa the card and everything and uh, and all that stuff so um, but uh, fingers crossed uh, it all goes smoothly today and we can get our thing filed uh, we both just had a shower when Augie just had a bath um, she was getting pretty dirty from uh, the street stuff going on um, so we gave her a nice bath. Um, she'll hang here at the, the room. Uh, it'll probably take me an hour and a half to two hours, probably realistically, with traffic going back and forth in a cab. We're not going to drive because it's just too much. It'd be much easier just doing a cab. And uh, so she'll hang in the room. She's got, she just ate her food. And she's got plenty of water and it's AC in here. So wish us luck and uh, we should be, I think I will take you along to the retirement authority offices if they let me film in there. Uh, and especially if we get it complete uh, to do a big hurrah for uh, accomplishing this. It's been about two months ever since we got here, we started on this. And uh, so it's been a real arduous process of filing the papers, getting, being told which ones we needed, which ones we didn't need, and then getting apostles from the U.S. done on certain ones, uh, Interpol background stuff, all sorts of crazy things. But uh, we're almost to the finish line on this one, the uh, getting our residency visa, which will make traveling uh, to and from the Philippines much easier, uh, and then just traveling around the Philippines also much easier because I'll have more, uh, what do I want to say, well, a better credential that shows I'm uh, a permanent citizen here uh, with my retirement visa so uh, well not a citizen of the Philippines but you know what I mean uh, I have permanent residency uh, and so it'll just make it much easier yeah anyway so a big accomplishment Wanagi feels nice and clean and uh, we'll check in with you in a little bit hey how's it going so we're down here in uh, Makati uh, Metro Manila uh, we just exited the Citibank building where the Philippines Bureau, uh, it's the Philippines Retirement Authority offices. We just pushed our paperwork through. Two months um, of doing the paperwork shuffle, getting documents apostolized, coming back and forth here to uh, figure out the next step and, and uh, what we need to do to get our retirement visa which will make us uh, able to come and go from the Philippines uh, with a lot more ease um, being able to travel around the Philippines with a lot more ease and we get a lot of um, special should I say privileges uh, that normally a normal tourist doesn't get and uh, you know what we accomplished that today we didn't get the actual visa yet it takes approximately about 21 days they've got to process all the paperwork but we paid all the monies. We've uh, deposited our money in a Philippines bank. It's a, uh, uh, it's an amount of money that we can actually invest or leave there until we decide that we're through with the visa. And then when we exit the country, we'll be refunded that money um, for, a, 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 I think, a full portion of that, uh, minus maybe some, some fees or something, which is normal, and I expect that. But we can also use that money to invest in properties. Um, and other sort of uh, investments which we might consider here in the future as we go and we learn more of the Philippines and what's going on here. But I just wanted to share a huge accomplishment. Like our paperwork is filed. Annie, this woman upstairs, helped us so much. I almost started crying upstairs like it was an emotional experience of just knowing after two months and 
in America since 2019 wanting to come here to the Philippines to live permanently and discover this place, discover the people, discover the culture, discover the food, everything, that we're finally achieving that. I'm so grateful. I thank to my higher power and God. I thank all my friends who have supported me through this and everyone in this country so far who has been so helpful to me. I love you and I thank you so much. Philippine people have so far been so amazing and I really appreciate it. So much love and uh, we'll, uh, we're gonna head back and go get Wanagi. She's in the hotel room hanging out in the air con. It's a little warm day, but uh, we got some things to do. And then tonight we're loading up the truck and we're gonna bail at about maybe four or five in the morning to beat the traffic. Uh, it's Friday right now and we're gonna go to a place called Baggio. Baggio. And uh, it's up in the mountains and it's the coolest like temperature wise climate in the Philippines. And so it's like 70s up there right now. So we're gonna go spend probably three to four weeks up there while the rest of the visa processes and just camp out, use the camper, Philippines camper van, and uh, just hang out up in the woods, go in rivers, lakes, and streams and enjoy this country. So thanks again, we'll check back in here.